Hello and welcome! This is a tutorial on using masks in the Blender Compositor. This is a simple example in which I want to show you how to desaturate an image but leave out certain parts with a special shape or a special color. I will open the image that we want to desaturate here as the background image. Snap to Autographic view and you can see we have three objects here a blue lighter, a pen and this green sharpener. And my goal is now to desaturate the whole image, but I want this blue lighter to be fully saturated. So let's open the node editor, switch to scene and we can delete this render layers because we want to edit an image, we don't need this render layers. I now add an image node and we can select this image in the image node. We don't have to open it again because we already opened this um, as the background image. Here it is. And now I want to show you how to desaturate this image. I checked here this backdrop so we can see the image when I plug it into a viewer node directly here in the node editor. By the way, you can add a viewer node by holding Ctrl and Shift press on your keyboard and left click onto this image and a viewer node will be added automatically. Okay, the next step will be to desaturate this image. So I have to add a so-called U correct node. On the color, U correct. And now place it here between the viewer and the image. And to desaturate this, you see these uh, dots here. And when we move them down, we desaturate the image for these particular colors. And I will do this for all the colors except for the blue tones. Okay? And this is the first method to just show one particular color and hide the other colors in the image. So that's pretty cool. We only see the blue color of this lighter and the other areas are desaturated. So this is the way to go if you are really sure that you want to display just a special color tone or some special color tones. But if you want to just display a special shape like this lighter here that consists of many colors and not just one color tone, then you have to choose a different approach. And I will show this approach now and it is where masks come into play. I will desaturate now the whole image. I will turn it into a full grayscale image by turning all these values here down to zero. And here you see the result. It is a grayscale image. And now I will define a mask. And this mask will have the shape of this lighter here. Okay, let's open up the UV image editor. Okay, this is empty. We have to render this image first and connect it here to the composite. Then I have to adjust the resolution and yeah, the, the size of the image. Just like this, the image is 2560 to 1920 and I want to render 100% resolution and here is the result, the full grayscale image. And now let's create a mask. We press new. Okay, I give this mask a name, let's name it lighter. And now you can just define the mask on this image by holding the control key pressed on your keyboard and click inside of your image. Just define the shape by clicking with the left mouse button and holding the control key pressed on your keyboard. Very simple, just like for example defining a polygon selection in Photoshop or GIMP. Just do this till you have your shape defined. 
For the last part, you could press Alt-C to close this selection to get a so-called cyclic mask, but it is not really necessary because Blender will close it automatically. You can also adjust this mask by selecting these points and moving them around with the mouse. And now let's see how to add this mask to the node editor. I type in mask here to find it. Here's my mask or the mask node and I select my mask that I just defined, the lighter mask. And now let's see how to include this in this composition to make this area we just defined by using the mask look saturated. First I will add a mix node and then I will connect the output of this uCorrect to the first image input of this mix node and then I connect the raw image which is not desaturated to the other image input of the mix node and the mask I connect to the factor of this mix node. And the last thing I have to do is connect the mix node with the composite and with the viewer. Oops, not with the alpha. have to connect it to the first input slot to the image. Okay, great. And here we go. Here's our lighter fully saturated. I really hope you understand this concept of masks because we will use them in one of our next tutorials for masking out special areas of movies. So I really hope you liked this tutorial. Here's the link to subscribe to my channel. And I also added here links to previous tutorials that might be interesting for you as well. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon here on my channel.